Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch, and today we are doing the gaming review of the Carbon Titanium S5 Ultra. Available for about Rs. 7000, comes with a 5 inch QHD display and a quad core processor. We are starting with Dead Trigger 2. Now we are playing this game in high performance mode. Gameplay is smooth, I haven't noticed any lag till now. There haven't been any frame drops either. The display does look a little bit pixelated, as do the graphics due to that. But gameplay here is smooth, I haven't noticed any lag at all. But there's one thing you need to know, apps as well as app data are not movable to the external SD card, so you're left with just 2 gigs of storage. Now we are playing Subway Surfers. Here too you see that there is no lag, color reproduction is not actually that accurate, colors seem a bit undersaturated. Now we are playing Riptide GP2, another fast paced game and you can see here too there is no lag, you can see the water effects as well, smooth gameplay here. You can see that there is no distortion when the display is tilted so wide viewing angles. You can see that in Temple Run as well, wide viewing angles, therefore no distortion, brightness and colors when the display is tilted, smooth gameplay here as well, no lag whatsoever, consistent frame rates. Next we move on to Frontline Commando D-Day, and here too you would notice that all elements are shown, you can see the fire and smoke in the background, frame rates are consistent, there is no lag. But the display doesn't have adequate brightness. It seems that the maximum brightness is also quite low as compared to other phones in this segment. And the color reproduction is on the undersaturated side. Colors also do appear a little bluish. But the gameplay here is smooth. Touch response is also good. And the phone does not heat up. We have installed the larger games one by one like FIFA 14. And that's a goal. As app and app data are not movable to the external SD card. So you have about 2 gigs of storage. And that's just about it in which you can install your apps. An OT update can definitely fix that. Smooth gameplay here as well. Next up we are playing GD Racing 2, it's another high end game and you can see how smooth the graphics look. Smooth gameplay here as well, the display might be a bit pixelated, but the game still looks quite good. Consistent frame rates here, no frame drops till now and you can see the sheen on the car, reflections as well. Next up we play 6 Guns, it's a western third person shooter. Now smooth gameplay here as well. The touch response from the display is quite fast. Here too you would notice that there is no lag, there is a little bit of frame drop from time to time. Just in this game. Now other alternatives in this price segment are the Android One handsets from Carbon Micromax and Spice. They offer similar gaming experience but in them app data is movable to the external SD card which is not so on the Titanium S5 Ultra. Now we are playing Asphalt 8 Airborne. Here to smooth gameplay right off the bat. Smooth touch response from the display as well. The accelerometer too performs quite well. Now we are playing this game in high settings. So all details of the car as well as environment are shown. At least all supported by the GPU. So we have a Mali 400 MP2 GPU powering graphics, 1 gig of RAM, Android 4.4 KitKat running on the device. Smooth gameplay here, no lag, consistent frame rates as well. Now finally we move on to Modern Combat 5. 
a first person shooter and you can see smooth gameplay here as well now we are playing this game in optimal quality in high settings there is a little bit of frame drop the speaker phone is clear as well it could have been a little bit louder but you can still see smooth gameplay here Well folks that was the gaming review of the Carbon Titanium S5 Ultra available for about Rs. 7000. The gameplay is smooth, however it's hindered by just one fact that apps as well as app data are not movable to the external SD card. And you just don't have enough space to install more apps if you install a larger game. We'll be back with more on the Titanium S5 Ultra, till then you can watch its unboxing from right here as well as the gaming review of the Micromax Canvas A1. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share any questions just hit us in the comment section. Thanks for watching and have a great day.